Yo guys, what's going on? Franchise here. We got Megan coming out of retirement yeah, to talk nice about to some video games. Yeah, so what's going on with all that stuff? Well, I decided to donate my Elgato be charitable, you know, help the squad. The squid, <laughs> yeah. I gave it to Versa Benzel because I know he's going to do great things with it. And I hope you guys like and subscribe and check him out. Yeah, please do. His channel is in my suggested channels. He's the first link in there because he's Bay. He is my duo, as you would say in the Call of Duty <laughs> world. <laughs> so please, please, he's probably going to kill me. But please make sure you go check out his channel. Go subscribe, follow him on Twitter, and as well, follow Megan on Twitter because she needs some followers. Thanks, I'm second bay. Second bay. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. But yeah, what are we here to talk about today? We're here to talk about Black Ops 3 and how it's beating our expectations for Call of Duty. Yes, for sure. And as you guys know or may not know, as this video goes up on Friday, the Black Ops 3 beta will be open to everybody on Xbox Live. So please go download it, play the game, put some feedback, make a video... Or tweet at Vondi and let him know what you think. Cause give, him some, give him some feedback. Some good thoughts, because I know he's gotten so much hate over the years, and he's actually, you know, listening to us and doing something right, so yeah, this, he deserves this it. beta is a tribute to that. Hopefully they listen to some of our input. I know they're game developers, they don't think everything we know is right, but we're the ones playing it for a year, and right. we just make it, so we, we should have some pretty good feedback. But that's not going to say that we don't have some issues with the game. Exactly, so let's get into some of the things we like first, and we'll get to the negatives after. The things I kind of like are definitely the maps. I like the majority of the maps. I like the way they float, except they do have a lot of little campy spots, especially- Complete with camping tents. Camping tents, <laughs> yeah. And the one window on Hunted, there's a camping tent because people camp that window. It's hilarious. Right. But um, I do like the flow. I, a lot of people don't like Combine. I know you said that a lot of the YouTubers don't like Combine. I love, I love it. I love Combine. That's like my favorite map. It's I an think... SMG map. I think it's because it's predictable. Definitely. You can flank everybody, you know where they're going to meet. It's kind of like Raid and Black Ops 2, but a lot of these maps feel like a Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2 feel. So they're not straying too far from the roots, but they're improving. That's good. Yeah, true. And the other thing I do like about the game is, this is going to sound really weird, but it's just fun to play. I don't want to not play the game. I can't wait till November. It's I like, what, what am I going to do next week with my life? I'm going to have to go playing other Call of Duty games? Fuck that. You know, it's just, I don't like that stuff. You had so many good games that you were looking forward to, and exactly. having Call of Duty just, like, bumps those Yeah, off. I was just like, oh, like, we got Fallout 4, we got Halo 5, Battlefront. I'm like, eh, Call of Duty's, like, three or fourth on the list. It's tied for first with Fallout 4. Nothing's gonna be Fallout 4. But that's just one of those things. I just don't think people thought this would be any fun. No, and that's why I'm glad they finally introduced a beta, so we could play it before we buy it. None of us want to just throw money at David Vondahar or Treyarch without knowing what we're actually purchasing. Last time when I played Advanced Warfare, I know it was a different company, but it was just I felt robbed because there were so many connection issues and everything, and the game looked and felt like it would be fun, but they never fixed their main problems, so it was unplayable, and I really didn't want that to happen again. And I'm, I'm glad we have a chance to have a beta and, like I said, to put input in. And, you know, some of the inputs that I, I really feel like need adjusting are the hit detection has been really bad. The mm -hmm. lag has been pretty bad. It's been better over the last few days. We've only been playing. She's only been playing the beta since yesterday. I've been playing it since Wednesday when it came out. Another thing, I feel like the weapons are really not that balanced because you have guns, like SMGs that play like assault rifles, and you have assault rifles that basically feel useless except the M8, which the M8 is probably going to catch a nerf too. And then you have shotguns that are like Remington's on steroids, too much range, too much power, you just don't want to go up against any shotgun in this game yeah, until it gets nerfed. Once people figure out the shotguns and then the, the movements, like it's over. Like, yeah. like you come around the corner and you go pow 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 and you just, you, you don't know what the hell yep. happened. It's over. All you see is your name on the bottom of the screen and you're not winning. <laughs> you're just like rest in peace. Yeah. It's over. But what are some of the things that you don't like either? Um, I would say the hit detection isn't the greatest, but it still feels good when you shoot somebody. It feels like Black Ops 1. True. It has a Black Ops 1 sound yeah. marker, so I noticed that. I just don't like the camping. I never have. It's not a game changer for me, but I just wish people would choose to utilize what they have. Like the streaks and the movements. I really like that slide. I feel like I'm sliding into hyperspace so fast. <laughs> I like being able to swim because I'm Dolphin Dive Pro. True. You can swim and shoot. I like wall running and shooting. I just like it in general. All the movements are really solid. 
That's good. I like how you segued from bad to good in that, too. That was pretty handy. That was nifty. I like that. I like to give both sides. <laughs> you like to give a sandwich compliment. Here's some good stuff. Here's some bad stuff. Let's go. Right. But the specialists, in my opinion, I really don't care for them because it, it reminds me too much of Destiny because it's like you get around a golden gun or a bow and arrow or, mm. you know, your Hulk smash spikes. I mean, that's what I use. yeah. And, and like the one, the, the specialists that I like to use aren't ones that really get you kills. Well, they do get you kills, but they more are awareness of the map and who's around you. Like I use the pulse. I can see people through walls that lights them up on the mini map. Yeah, and really good. it's really, it's really awesome. I really hope they don't nerf that. They nerfed the reject one, which we haven't used yet. Basically you would die and you could get back up. But wow. they nerfed it so where you die and you get back up, you don't have your streaks is anymore. Is that that teleportation one? No, the, the, the glitch. The glitch is pretty cool. I've used that a few times. But you have to do the glitch before you die. Yeah, I did zero less. research on this game. So I'm sitting here like, <laughs> what is going on? Why are people teleporting? Why are my legs being chopped off like Monty Python style? What is going on? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. But the one thing I do give them credit for is they brought fun back to Call of Duty. And that's really important for me as a gamer because I try really hard. I do. I like to try, I like to play, I have no, the scuff controller, I have the Astros. You don't try hard. I mean, <laughs> no, not at all. I like to have fun and play, and I'm competitive, but when things aren't balanced, when there's connection issues, it makes it not fun. But at least, with all this bullshit that we've talked about, I still don't want to do anything but play the beta for the next few days. I want to know life it's still and get everything I can. You can punch people, you can take all your aggression with the campers and the lag and everything Did out. you see Thunder's video where he was beating snipers up with his no. bare hands? Oh, that was the greatest. But do. what do you guys think of the Black Ops 3 beta? Are you digging it? Are you not? Are you on the Xbox One beta? Or have you played the PS4 beta? Let us know your input in the comments below, please. I'm just gonna say they have my money. They have our money. Already. For sure. I can't wait. And either can I. It's gonna be tough waiting until November after this next week. But please, like I said, leave your comments down below. Let us know what you think. Make sure you follow Meg on Twitter. Make sure you stay up to date with all my stuff on Twitter. You can. All the links are in the description. And as always, I appreciate you guys coming by. And a Treyarch game that's fun. I, I'm a loss for words now. I know. I never thought you'd say that. Seven minutes of words and I'm gone now. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate Ooh. all your support. All right. Later, guys. Bye.